hello and welcome to this new video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and configure n computing device m300 so there are three hardware devices in this setup so there is the main device that is m300 and there are two access devices extra that can be connected and i will show you how you can connect all those things to your server pc so in this setup you can run uh, with a server pc you can run three more stations so let's get to the desktop this is the ms300 primary device and all the ports required to connect the secondary devices as well as other devices are present at the back and sideways this is the lan cable connected to the pc the power brick is connected to this port the VGA cable is connected to the first monitor. The USB keyboard and mouse points are connected here. The secondary devices are connected using this USB and uh, LAN cable. And this is the secondary device. There are two secondary devices associated in the box. Here you can set up your mouse and keyboard the VGA cable to the next monitor so now let's move on to the PC and see the software setup so you need to go to Google and search for N computing go to this first software download link you need to sign up to download this software to so sign up using your email ID and password once you have signed in again just go to software downloads and select the product model as vSpress Pro and select your operating system which is uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 that all are supported with this single version uh, then go to this vSpress Pro LTS this vSpress Pro LTS software is supported for all those Windows versions only 64 bit are supported and it is of 11.3.6 version so scroll down from this point and select download it will be downloaded as a zip file and you need to extract it in a folder once it has been extracted then move to the folder and double click on install click on express install click next tick mark the accept button and click next and it will install all the requirements it will ask to install the software just tick mark this and click install after the installation it will ask to restart the pc just click on restart and click finish after the PC has been restarted, the vSpace manager will open. Just click on Online Registration and click on Already Have a Registration ID. Then use the same uh, email ID and password that you use to download the software. The server name will be automatically selected. You do not have to change that. It will be the same as the user name of the local account of the windows that you created while installing windows then click on login and register the server it will take some time and it you have to be connected to the internet then click on open a network and sharing center click on local area connection go to properties click on internet protocol version 4 double click on that or click on properties use the following IP address give the IP address as 192.168.1 and 10 click on the submit mask and it will be automatically given click on the default gateway and type 192.168.1 and 1 click OK click OK again click close go to control panel go to administrative tools Go to computer management 
on the left hand bar you will see local users and groups just expand it and go to users right click on the blank space create new user give a username here you can create uh, as many users as you want i have already created two users you can create three users maximum for this device you just need to give the username give a password then uncheck user must uh, change password at next login and check these two options and click create then close after creating all the users go to groups go to remote desktop users and you need to add the users from here go to advanced then find now then select the users you want to add to this remote desktop users then select it and click ok then click ok again I have already created this so I am just showing you the process go to all control panel items go to windows firewall go to turn firewall on or off then you need to turn off the firewall for both the options you have to turn off can click ok then you have to open vspace console here you will see the server has been identified and registered and it will be online if you click refresh close it then you need to go to the main device for setup here you have to click on device setup and click on manual connection options if not already done see the screen and select those options only then click on manage groups and you can see the server that has been created this is the server we just clicked uh, on registration on this PC using the vSpace manager if you have any other groups on the right hand side just click on it and remove it then go to network then click on static and give this IP address as 192.168.1 and 11 the subnet mask will be same the gateway will be exactly like the PC one 192.168.1 and 1 just see the screen and follow the same instructions once you have done click on apply after you have applied go to login screen you can select sleep if idle for never click on USB audio redirection click on video settings and choose the video resolution you require I will recommend that you choose 10241768 resolution click save and you will see that the server has been identified so such so click on connect and click ok so it will restart and you will see the screen press any key to start that means our server has been set up and the access devices are also set up to use just click on any key and you will see the login screen for the users that we had already created so now you can log in to the users account one by one in single single access device like here I am logging into client A1 and you can set up your desktop the first time you log into the accounts the server PC will install all the di drivers automatically then you can set up your desktop accordingly you can use all the programs here microsoft office web browsers etc the same can be done for the second access device and the third access device so i am here showing only the second access device also here i am logging it with client a2 and that also can be set up according to the user's need
this device you can easily uh, use your single computer to access multiple uh, stations and uh, it is very helpful for small offices schools colleges so do watch the next video for more such diy and tips and tricks videos till then goodbye